Good evening, everybody. This is meteorologist Andrew Pinero. So we did have some snow in spots today, and some, some spots even saw quite a bit of snow. So where I was, it was a little coating, maybe about a half inch. And if you look behind me, you still see some snow. A lot of it's melted already. Even though it was just barely above freezing today, there was still some snow out there for melting. Now, the spot that we were a little bit underestimating with the forecast models was Long Island. Long Island in spots saw five to even seven inches of snow. I was looking at the radar this morning and there was one band that was pretty thin and or narrow I should say but it stayed over Long Island kind of like just targeting it and that's what dumped a lot of a lot of that snow. None of the forecast models really showed that exactly. Some of them did, but then they backed off and went lower with the snowfall totals. But essentially, the forecast models were not the best for this one. And that's kind of been the trend, what we've been seeing for this past winter. A lot of the times, we were underestimating the snowfall totals or overestimating the snowfall totals. But this has not been an easy forecasting winter, so it's been quite a challenge. Now, this is something I've said for the past few years, so climatologically, we're going to be getting into February, the end of this week. And it looks like February, from the past few years, has been one of the snowiest months, from my experience. And even though this is, uh, the climate patterns changed a little bit, we're in a bit of a La Nina to neutral right now, where we're a bit in neutral to El Nino the past few years. So, that may change it, but... Not from what I've seen. And I'm not going to get into too much detail, but we do have a few more rounds of some wintry precipitation coming. So after today, it looks like we're going to have a nice day on Wednesday. A cloudy but fairly dry day on Thursday until we get to Thursday night. Thursday night's going to start off as rain. Then through the night going into Friday morning, we're going to have a transition from rain to some sleet to a little bit of some snow to end it. Now, it depend the snow totals, I'm not going to go into that just right now because it's a little bit still too uncertain, especially with the freezing line. Wherever that freezing line uh, sets up, that will change the snowfall totals quite a bit from nothing to maybe a few or four inches. So it's something to really watch, and we'll be watching that quite a bit. So if you want to get more weather updates or even check out tomorrow's weather podcast where I do have a pretty long discussion of the weather forecast coming up for the week, click that subscribe button below and the little bell icon next to it so you get all the latest weather updates and you'll know when I either upload a video or go live. Now, Friday, again, it's going to be a bit of a wintry mess. Starting as rain Thursday night, transitioning to a little bit of sleet, then some snow to, to end it. Saturday doesn't look like too bad of a day starting out the weekend. Then Sunday, that's where we could start to see maybe a little bit more snow. And then the timing of that is, again, not very certain at all, just because we have a lot of different forecast models saying a lot of different things. Then going into Monday, this is one that's also causing a little bit of concern because some forecast models have nothing. No precipitations heading anywhere in the Northeast. Some forecast models have... This low pressure center, almost like a nor'easter, moving a little bit uncomfortably close, I would call it. So that's something to watch out for, and that's going to be Monday, and then going into next week, maybe another little something on next Wednesday. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to get into this every few days, a little bit of snow pattern. And that's, again, kind of what I've been seeing with my experience over the past few years with February in the Northeast. So overall, that was a quick little weather update. If you did get a lot of snow, I hope you were safe. We're not going to see really too much more of anything for today. If anything, maybe just a little flurries, and that's about it. Again, tomorrow, Thursday, not too bad of a day till we get to Thursday night, and that starts the trend of storm, not storm, not storm, storm. So definitely subscribe and keep checking for those weather updates. And if you want to, yeah. Check out that weather podcast where I go live usually on Wednesday evenings. Have a great evening, everybody. This is meteorologist Andrew Pinero. Definitely subscribe to get the latest weather updates because we have quite a bit of a ride coming over the next week. I almost forgot one other thing. Groundhog Day is this Friday, February 2nd. So... 
I don't know how much I like Groundhog Day. It is a tradition, and those that really follow Groundhog Day, they swear by it. So there's not really any correlation between whether Puxatani Phil sees a shadow or doesn't see a shadow. I haven't really seen any research that kind of supports that, but if you guys do see any research or want to share what you guys think, definitely leave that in the comments below, and we'll have a little discussion on what we think of Groundhog Day.